Alright, hey guys, so today, since not many people actually might know, I'll be showing you like all the donated mines in P4. So you got, I'll go and show you, so when you want to donate to the server, which I hope, hopefully you guys do, you just do slash donate and then you'll be brought here. So you got Hustler, which costs 10 bucks, and you get ability to use Kit Hustler, to be able to join a uh, full prison server type slash hustler for mine and that's how much it costs and then that's the command to do so you just do slash buy access to donate a mine and then ability to do craft anywhere so you just do craft and it's like a crafting bench but like a portable one but yeah and then the next one is wise guy which is 25 bucks so you basically you get the same but a bit more wait I think it is the same but you just oh you get slash feed then you get the wise guy mine but you get the wise guy kit this time then you get the same as the craft anywhere and moving back to the next one didn't force her for 50 bucks so if you come down here you get slash feed and then force mine and then force a kit and then craft anywhere and it's basically the same kind of thing but uh, better improved mine so I should be showing the mine after this so the next one's hitman <coughs> so you got slash feed slash hitman and you got the hitman kit and that cost a hundred bucks and then you got craft anywhere then access to free exp exp donate sorry exp grinders and then the next one the underboss so you got slash feed slash night for night vision and you don't lose xp when you die then you get the same free exp grinders the same craft anywhere and then you get slash underboss for mines then the next one's the mastermind for two hundred dollars so you get slash mastermind then the mastermind kit and then craft anywhere and then access to every single donator mine so that's basically meaning so if i'm in mastermind i get access to all those but even if i'm in underboss or hitman or enforcer i still get access to these low ones but you can't be like in the hustler and then go somewhere into enforce it doesn't work like that it only goes down ranks yeah so you get slash kit xp which you get 32 bottles of enchanting and you can do feed anywhere and yeah you don't lose xp and then you get a free jail card so if you get jailed being a mastermind you can just get out for free so yeah, to go to the mines, type in slash hustler. So this is a first mine. This is what it looks like around. And then there's uh, benches. And there is also sign things where you can sell here. So that's how much they cost. And then here's a mine. So it's just like an average mine. So you can walk all the way up there go everywhere around which is pretty cool so the next one is wise guy so if you come here it will be more improved than the other one yeah it will be more improved than hustler and it would have changed like has a fishing spot I think and then there's the other fishing spot yeah and then has all the mining spots so you got just this spot here and that spot there and then you got the other sign to sell stuff on yeah then there's a fishing spot the crafting bench and then I think someone was actually mining inside here yeah. I th thought I might have saw someone but and then you go I think was slash enforcer next so yeah you just got the mine here so you got the same thing you just got a sign but it sells each spot it sells for more and you got the mine here so you got more emeralds and stuff and then it goes up to the top there 
that's how high it goes so you get three levels and then the next one hitman yeah it's the same kind of thing but this time there's actually cells so yeah you got four levels that you can buy cells on so it's kind of improved depending on how much you guys want to spend on the server and then here's all the mines here so again you got the sign to sell stuff and it will be up the price a bit so yeah here's a mine over here so you got all the mine there and a bit more over here and then you got just random stuff in the way alright the next one is underboss I think it was yeah underboss so again you just got cells that you can buy up to but I th there's five levels now and then <coughs> the same kind of signs again I think this is the spot yep yeah. so you got the same signs you can either sell one or 64 of each that you collect and then I think that was a mine no it's not it is but oh I don't know where it is oh yeah it's down here yeah that's right there it is so yeah this time it's down there so you'll just climb down here go around there and then you'll be down there and then you can start mining there alright so the next the last donator thing you can buy which is the two hundred dollars which is a mastermind and it's the best no donator rank as you can kinda see so again you can buy cells around here but just be in mind if you already have a normal cell in A, B, C or D and E you would still have to renew both to actually keep them both so yeah it has a cell down here I mostly spend my time down here so again you got the sign and it sells for I think a bit more and then over here you got the mine through here and it is kinda annoying so I just turned my sound off because you just keep hearing the glass break so you just got the same kind of thing but it's a more o overpowered mine yeah, and there is someone inside there can't really see their name because it's kinda dark oh yeah I can do night vision I think with slash night yeah so yeah King Nish is in there he must be just mining say hey to him there you go <clears throat> but yeah if you guys do want to join me if you find me in game oh yeah I'll show you guys this too that I think they brought it out today so you just type in slash PvP and this time there's actually like a full PvP area so as you drop off here you can't actually teleport out so if you just drop off here so there's two dudes fighting um, I don't really know how to s say that guy's name Ermafool and then Yusuf plays Minecraft yeah that they must just be having a PvP off like, just like a 1v1 but yeah for today when it came out there was about f I think 20 of us in here were attacking each other and there was a few mod guards and crap that were attacking too and it was really fun but yeah so about my new series it will be starting on the 15th but you're just t telling me to come back yeah it will be starting on the 15th but I still actually want to record on P4 because I've actually met heaps of nice people on here so actually will be recording still but yeah so yeah once you actually jump here you actually have to die now because look if you do that well you can if you're oh, I think they might have changed it yeah like if you get hit then you can't recall I mean then you can't teleport or anything like that so yeah kinda same rules apply but this time you can't actually jump out so once you get in and you start getting hit you can't do much but yeah <coughs> Yeah, like here's a normal place where you can actually PvP. So if you step in here now, I could actually get hit. But yeah. So you got 
E Ward, D Ward. If you guys haven't really seen, if you might be new to my series, then I'm not too actually 100% sure what these actually are. I'm not actually too sure what that is. And you can go the EXP grinder, which is a public one, which I'll show you in a second. So, as you guys may kind of see around if you do play, how people open the open the parkour place. So you just right click on this guy, and it costs a thousand dollars. And then I'll just do it. So you get a TNT, then you just put it there, and then it'll actually open up the parkour place. And then you got C, B, and A ward. See, so once you start ranking up, you will each as you come into the ward, you will have a chant dude. So you can just enchant stuff depending on what level you have of enchants, which is this spot here. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I will be starting my s season two in prison one. I have decided now I will be in prison one. I will be starting, so if you guys see me in there, just say hey. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Be sure to check out my Season 2 coming on the 15th. Peace out.